Cold monkey like Fritos Cold monkey like Dad Mountain Cold monkey very simple man Baby warm fuzzy secret heart Cold monkey like you I'm Ben Brown with MoreThanGuitar.com and in this lesson video, How to Play Code Monkey by Jonathan Colton. Jonathan Colton is one of my favorite singer-songwriters, so if you haven't heard of him, by all means, pause the video right now and go click the link below so you can hear more of his stuff. Okay, we're going to start with the chords, but this is a pretty high intermediate level song, so I'm not going to bother you showing you E. Instead, I'm going to show you some interesting things that Jonathan Colton does on the acoustic version of this song. The song starts with a simple drone on an E chord. Sounds just like the minutes ticking away in a cubicle, doesn't it? But then on down around the fifth line, we're going to do something very pretty. You notice it says B slash E and A slash E, which normally means a B chord with an E in the bass. Well, we're going to do that kind of in a cool, folky way. We're just going to slide the same E chord up all the way to our first finger is on the eighth fret. Play all six strings. And then for the A slash E, just slide down two frets so your first finger is on the sixth fret. Or if you prefer, it's more visual, think of your middle finger hitting the third dot and the fourth dot. And that covers the bulk of the song. Just in case you're not perfectly secure with your bar chords, uh, down on the, uh, the bridge, the pre-chorus, whatever you want to call it, Maybe manage you on the right goddamn G sharp. You're gonna put your first finger all the way across the fourth fret. First finger gets the third string, one fret up. Ring finger gets the fifth string, two frets up, and the pinky crabs behind it on the fourth string, two frets up from your first finger. And then to play the C sharp minor, leave your first finger right where it is and just shift all three fingers over. So that your ring finger is on the second string, fourth string third string. Then we're going to play the barred B on the way back down, fourth fret, fifth string, two, three, four on the fourth fret. But then we're going to use the B7 chord, open B7 you might know over crazy. Now for the chorus, start off with a basic E chord, but then uh, he goes to an E major 7. He's not playing on top, but he's doing sort of a, a drop down. So what you want to do is move this note, the fourth string, down to the first fret. So it's kind of complicated. You have to switch your fingers around. First finger goes to the fourth string, first fret. Middle finger goes in the third string, first fret also. And then your ring finger reaches across and plays the fifth string, second fret. For the E6, your first finger goes on the third string, first fret. Your middle finger is going to go on the 4th string, 2nd fret, and with your pinky, play the 4th fret on the 5th string. Then right back to the E. A really cool lick over Simple Man, you're playing an A major 7, play an A, 1st finger is on the 3rd string, 1st fret, middle finger gets the 4th string, 2nd fret, your ring finger gets the 2nd string, 2nd fret. Play 5 strings. He throws a sus on top of that. It's a really cool sound. Playing that little rhythm and putting the finger back down when you come up. Really slow. Go from B7 to the B9. All you have to do is play your first finger on the fourth string, first fret. Middle finger gets the 5th string, 2nd fret, and then with the pad of your ring finger, lay it down and get the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd string all in the 2nd fret. Cold monkey like you. On the bridge, code monkey like you a lot. D, A, A minor. A minor 6, just put your pinky first string, second fret, two beats, one, two, slide it up one, back to the E. At the very end he plays a really cool chord riff to close it out. The E, B with an E in the bass, A with an E in the bass, 
and then really fast he jumps, just takes the same shape and jumps over a string and up a fret. Which is kind of an A major 7. Back to the B. The rhythm throughout most of the song, well first of all don't take it too fast. I had to reshoot the play along video several times because I kept rushing it thinking of the rock version of this. Uh, a little slower, mellow. Make sure you get two good strong down strums on the E. One, two, three, and four. And one, and two, and three. One, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three. And the B and the A are on the up strokes. One, and two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three. One, and two, and three, and four. And one. Remember, staying in time on the steady beat is way more important than playing the exact rhythm patterns. Don't forget to check below for a link to Jonathan Colton's site. He's really, really great. He's got a lot of other songs. You're bound to like some of them. Below that, there's a link to the chord chart, the play-along video, as well as other songs that you might like to learn. Below that, there's a big gray box. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'm Ben Brown with MoreThanGuitar.com, and this has been How to Play Code Monkey by Jonathan Colton. Thank you for watching.